Oh boy, what a mess we got going. Well, this is the backhoe seat. That's the way that it was sold originally in 1961. But uh, it's got a fiberglass cover on it. This thing looks like the uh, captain's chair out of the Starship Enterprise. But uh, there's the gas tank. There's the engine block, which we'll talk more about. Uh, the crank. And here's a motor mount. But uh, And then, of course, here's the robber. Excuse me. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, how are things? Um, okay, I'm just listening to music and about to grind. What are you going to grind? I started on this thing because oh, I didn't know dash. what else to do that was uh -huh. more important. Well, it needs to be done. So, I, mean, I all started of it. that. The uh, oil pan needs to be done. Well, what's first? Which one do you want? Uh, all of it needs to be done. Doesn't matter. No no particular order. Okay. You just get it done. But uh, let's talk a little bit about what's new. Um, I don't know. Have we talked about how we're just going to put this engine back together and go for it? Mm -hmm. We're going to just do it? No, we haven't talked yet. Yeah, but, so uh, we pretty much decided that we're just going to put this thing back together um, after talking to Farmall Fanatic. Uh huh. Yeah, a couple people. Thomas Schmidt. Uh, and, not not Farmall Fanatic. Uh, um, Farmer G. No, homesteading the hard way. Homesteading the hard. Well, and also we and also Thomas Schmidt. Those are all great channels. Yeah. So we've talked to a couple of people who uh, have given us some advice on this, and they're saying slap it together. It should work fine for what you're going to be doing. Should hold up long enough to get all the work we need done. So mm -hmm. that's where we're going to save us a lot of money. Yeah. As far as you know, sending it off to a shop to be machined out and everything so uh we're gonna get this going get this back together then we're gonna start on the transmission and go from there so hopefully within the next so five or six years we'll be finished with this thing <laughs> <laughs> oh man the shop's getting crowded we've got a whole bunch of backhoe parts in here floor plates that need to be cleaned and this is the firewall here this is the steering column uh, that we pulled out uh, uh steering columns really rusted out it's old, rusty, and caked in garbage on this thing. I feel confident we're going to break a wrench or two before this project's over. Maybe. I know, Diana. Quit squealing. We'll help you. Uh, oh. It's heavy. It is heavy. There Look, go. there's a bird's nest. Where? Right there. See it? Now I do a bird's nest so far we found acorns and a bird's nest bird's nest what else have we found I um I the forget. acorn in the engine that was the yeah nest. the acorns in the exhaust uh port okay so here's the firewall that's good you look very pretty on the blue thank you we'll take this and get it cleaned up oiled up fixed up all that good stuff and then power wash this puppy with our free power washer yeah. you, are you really enjoying working with that wire wheel robber <laughs> i got a project for you don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the notification button so you'll get all of the information on our latest videos and in fact, the steering wheel, I'll take you in here and show you the steering wheel. <laughs> Got the steering wheel in the kitchen. The steering wheel here, here's, this is the old one, obviously. It's cracked and broken and, uh, you know, just literally fell off the tractor. But uh, we got a replacement for it. The only problem is that's the hub from the original steering wheel there. And this is the hub uh, for the on the new steering wheel. And as you can see, this hub on the new one's smaller than that. So we're gonna have to drill it out, find some way to hold it on there and, do that huh i was hoping we wouldn't have to do that but it's the way it is but uh, it's a good stout wheel it's original and um it's a 60 year old steering wheel there uh and as you can see it's almost identical um to the uh, to the old one so that's good nice heavy steering wheel nice thick this will be uh this will be good for us we also have a ton of uh rebuild parts here gauges for the um for the dashboard, we've got rod bearings, crank bearings, uh, rings, 
These are our new pistons. And of course we've got a new seal kit. We got everything. And we're just waiting on a couple more parts and then we'll we'll be busy about our putting this engine back together. So things getting pretty exciting. We're happy for it. Another thing I want to show you. Hey Robert, turn that down for a second. But what do we have here, Robber? Oh, we have a free power washer. Uh, we were looking for a power washer so we could wash the engine out, the engine compartment, all of that kind of stuff. And so we were looking on face uh, Craigslist, and we came across one, and we went to the person's house. They wanted a hundred dollars for it. Yeah, and we were trying to check it out. It's got some like a missing part here, and hasn't started. And the lady didn't really know anything about it other than it hasn't started in forever. So she finally just said, hey, take it. It's yours. And we yeah. were like, awesome. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Although, <laughs> Egypt tried to mess with it. And I felt kind of guilty because I know it'll run. I mean, it's got a good Honda engine on it. It's just been sitting for years, apparently. And when I opened up the top of the gas tank, oh, my gosh, it just smelled like varnish. It was really bad. Really, really old, bad gas in there. Put some new gas in it to see if that would fix it. And I tried to start it. It won't start it. I... I suspect that the carburetor is like gelled up uh, with varnish too. So simple matter, you know, <laughs> clean it up, getting it going. Another project. We hope, yeah, another project to make, <laughs> to, another project to get a project completed <laughs> so that we can get a project completed. Oh, Gosh, we're, I think we're losing our minds. Like the we're steering wheel, golly. Going on and I on. I know. Let's do this. It's now like, when this. does it end? So, but hey. Anyway. It's all. It's we'll all. get there. We'll get there. But man, this shop is a mess. We got to clean this up. No. Get this going. So. Not very much room to work right now. So. There's not, but let's. I'll clean it up a little bit while you do that and we'll get going here. <laughs> it's kind of nice that we've decided to just go ahead and put the engine back together as is. I mean, technically, it's within acceptable tolerances to do that according to the manufacturer's uh, overhaul manual. I don't like it, but you know what? I have to put things in perspective. And we also, we didn't want to sell plasma to get this, <laughs> get this engine done. So Hey, I would do it. You'd sell plasma for <laughs> Dinah? Well, of course. You think she's worth it? If it gets us to our goal, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I would sell uh, plasma. I think it'll get us to our goal without it. So.